You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Young and the Restless fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt. We have got Young and the Restless stuff to talk about. It sounded to me like Kyle Abbott just dropped a baby hint to Audra. He may not have even realized that he did it, but that means to me, in his mind, maybe he's moving too fast. And across the board, physically, he also seems to be moving too fast with Audra. And here's why we think that. Before we dig in, if you haven't already, reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our wine or spoilers, updates, and more. So, you know, right now, Kyle Abbott is just being strangely fast and forward and public about this fling. I mean, I guess we can fairly call it a fair because he's still married and I don't think that they have inked any separation papers, but he clearly, you know, is taking the attitude that my marriage is over. And he is all, seems to be just avidly pursuing his new fling, Audra Charles. And something that he said to her was a callback of sorts of how he wound up with his adorable son, Harrison Locke. And the way that he said it to me felt kind of like an Easter egg from the writers. And so we have to wonder if Kyle is moving too fast with this woman and is it going to be her taking advantage or is it going to be him just falling too hard, too fast, too deep? Audra got the flowers and the earrings that Kyle sent her right in front of Summer Newman. Summer Newman was right there. And Audra covered and did not reveal that they were from Kyle when she could have flexed. She could have said that they were from Kyle and that she had been spending time with her estranged husband, but she didn't. And then later at the GCAC, Kyle was there and he was hitting on Audra and flirting with her openly. And she was definitely down to get dirty, but she wanted to do it upstairs away from prying eyes and said she didn't want a public spectacle out of this. So she went upstairs, he waited and followed her a few minutes later. And that was on, that happens on the Friday, July 7th episode. But what's weird about this stuff going on with Kyle is that A, he just jumped right into bed with her. He was like, oh yeah, that chick flirted with me the other day. Somewhere I'm leaving you. Oh, hey, I'm just going to go over here and put my penis in this woman. And he seems completely unconcerned about whether anyone sees them and could report it back to Summer. And maybe he doesn't care if she finds out, or maybe he's hoping she finds out. Maybe he's wanting Summer to be slapped in the face with a betrayal of his own after she betrayed him with all the lies about her mother that left his mother rotting in jail. But it feels like he's also letting himself kind of fall into this. You know, is it just sex or is it a, a rebound romance? Is he, you know, I mean, he, he gave diamond earrings and flowers. Flowers, sure, but he gave diamond earrings and then he keeps showing up for more unless she's going to be his, you know, she's he's going to be her sugar daddy, which I think she's actually older than him. It would be weird. You know, maybe he is getting some feels because he's so upset and that's how rebound romance it happens for people, you know? But for me, it all feels very rushed. And it also has me wondering, because it, it's it's almost kind of out of character for Kyle. Not that he can't be bad when he was younger, because he and Summer got up to all sorts of shenanigans. Remember that bet about her sleeping with Billy back when Billy was with her mom? I mean, it's not like they haven't, you know, done sketchy things and been promiscuous. It's just that that's not who he is now. He's fully embraced being a dad. And even though he's upset about his wife, the stuff he's doing now to me feels extremely out of character. And you have to remember that the writers are out on strike. They've been out on strike since May. I am wondering if these scripts are coming from backup writers because the other writers are gone. I mean, I don't know. Is Josh Griffith still around? Is he part of this WGA strike? I don't know because he's senior management and a showrunner, and usually they are outside of the strike. They're immune to it even if they are supporting it. And you might remember, gosh, it was like a month or two, two months before the strike started. I'm trying to remember. He fired all the breakdown writers off YNR. So... Either they've got some just randos in writing these scripts and that's why they're so hasty or we are seeing the full effect of Josh Griffith trying to write this entire show by himself and just losing it. Although I do say there's a lot happening right now that I am enjoying and I am enjoying the pace, but I am still just really wondering if we're seeing scripts from non-core writers or if it's Josh Griffith just unleashed. Maybe that's it. 
So for sure, Audra Charles likes the flowers and the diamonds and a young stud in her bed. I mean, Tucker was no spring chicken, although he looks like he'd be a lot of fun in the sack. You know, I mean, look at shirtless Kyle and his undies on July 7th and tell me that that's not what Tucker McCall looks like undressed. So it's easy to see why she's doing this, but Kyle might actually, in the back of his mind, be thinking long term. And maybe he doesn't even realize it yet, but the thing that he said has me thinking that it could be on. On the way. So on the Friday, July 7th episode of Young and the Restless, after Audra and Kyle get frisky, he tells her this reminds him of being in New York in his 20s. Okay, that sounds like fun. It sounds like a fun, light comment about, hey, you know, I can go all night like a young stud. But let's let's dig a little deeper and unpack this. First of all, do you guys remember what really happened to Kyle in New York in his 20s? He was there with Theo Vanderway. Do you remember that guy? That was Kyle's friend who turned out to be his secret cousin. And there was also this matter of a small scandal about an underage girl drinking at one of their big parties. And there were lots of parties apparently. But do you recall what else happened in New York? specifically in the Hamptons. Kyle turned his attention from nonstop partying to seducing a married woman. That married woman was Tara Locke, and he got her pregnant. He didn't know it. She didn't know it till after he had left town, and then she lied and told her husband, Ashton, that Harrison was his, even though they hadn't slept together in a while. I guess she hopped into his bed, and then she faked a paternity test. But Kyle, you know, had been, he definitely had feelings for her and she had feelings for him, but she wanted the lifestyle that Ashland was giving her. And then once she, you know, was in there and had told him the lie about Harrison and everything, she was just kind of in too deep and she stayed with him until Sally Spectra and Theo Vanderway started dropping hints and letting things happen. And that's kind of what pushed this to the forefront. I don't know if you remember Sally when she first came to Genoa City was quite the schemer. So we have to wonder if Kyle is feeling the same kind of euphoria with Audra that he felt when he was running around with Tara Locke, and will he be similarly careless about protection not being used? We talked before in another video here, you can check our Young and the Restless playlist about whether Audra might try and get pregnant on purpose or if she might fake a pregnancy to try and make sure that Kyle stays with her and doesn't go back to his wife. She could do that. But, you know, maybe Kyle in the back of his mind is hoping for some kind of twisted sort of Tara Lock replay with her. And we want to talk about that just more. We have a couple more things to say. But if you haven't, please click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our Young and the Restless updates, news, and spoilers. And if you're enjoying this, please click like. All right. So what is next for Audra and Kyle? She offered him a gig at Newman Media because he's out at Marchetti because his dad, Jack Abbott, said, you can't take that from summer. You know, she has to leave the house. You are breaking up with her. She's not going to be able to see Harrison as much. And she's lost too much. And then plus all the crap with her mom, even though she was part and parcel to it after the fact. But Jack said that. And so Kyle's like, fine. And he stepped away. So what I'm wondering if whether Audra wants a work boy toy and if she's being inspired by Victoria having Nate to make out with and, you know, bang in her CEO office because Audra has her own CEO office office at Newman Media, and maybe she wants some boy toy eye candy to get down with at work, too. I'm sure Victoria, I wonder if she'd be horrified or she'd feel good if she inspired that thought process. But what I'm also wondering is whether Kyle is somehow low-key already thinking more serious thoughts about Audrey because he mentioned the whole thing in New York. And of course, the whole thing in New York turned out with a beautiful woman and a baby. Of course, the circumstances are not identical, but I do wonder if we could be heading into a scenario where Kyle just gets in too deep with her too fast, but let's hope not. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 